Welcome to the world of terror. When I'm not busy embalming bodies, which isn't often, I like to relax with some good family reading. Let me introduce you to my personal library of Fangoria, the leader in horror entertainment. What a fascinatingly hideous cover of Freddy Krueger. And devilishly candid reviews of the latest horror videos. And gloriously bloody color photos from the newest Friday the 13th. They're all here in Fangoria. Can I persuade you to subscribe? And welcome back to Neon Fastique. On today's show we are taking a look at the cultural phenomenon known as Fangoria. First published by Starlog Press in 1979, Fangoria magazine exploded across newsstands worldwide, soon finding its place amongst an already established plethora of horror movie monthlies, magazines like Famous Monsters of Filmland, House of Hammer and Monsters of the Movies. Readers of the magazine soon discovered, however, that Fangoria was not so benign as its long-standing predecessors, becoming over time the epitome of horror in grotesque high definition. Public outcry plagued the magazine's early releases, due in part to the visceral cover photography often displaying the bloody best that film had to offer, while simultaneously cornering the market with its highly professional content. Fangoria became the genre's monthly epitaph of news, scoops, interviews and in-depth biopics of movies both past and present, creating living legends from the unsung heroes of special effects. There simply was no other magazine like it, and as the 1980s unfolded, a new generation was spawned, with Fangoria finding itself at the forefront of the new horror movie boom. Considered by many as the red light district of cinema, Fangoria played a part in the ensuing revolution of the horror genre. The magazine epitomised the very essence of the horror fan, supporting all facets of the frowned upon subculture, and in turn, received notoriety in the most unlikely of places. Whether it was just a gesture of respect or simply an act of gratitude, Fangoria appeared on screen in numerous movies of the 1980s. Films such as Chucky, Friday the 13th, Army of Darkness, My Mama's a Werewolf, Troll and Gremlins all featured a well-read edition of Fangoria magazine and I'm happy to say it's a trait that has continued to this very day. It's there, you've just got to look for it. Given the magazine's high profile and explicit content, Fangoria was not relegated to the top shelf in any newsagent. Quite the opposite. The magazine was most commonly found amongst the comic books and other related periodicals, but obtaining Fangoria was never a problem. Reading and collecting Fangoria required extreme acts of vigilance. As most parents dread the discovery of Playboy, Penthouse and Teenage Dork Queens, None could contain their shock, disgust and utter disappointment at their child's secret stash of Fangoria. I told you before, I didn't want you to read this crap. I never saw such rotten crap in my life. Where do you get this shit? Who sells it to you? From its original inception in 1979, Fangoria had proved itself to be a true institution of the horror genre and at its height throughout the 1980s into the 1990s, Fangoria spawned various spin-off titles such as Horror Video, Toxic Horror and Gore Zone, all contributing to Fangoria as the leading magazine for cinematic horror. However, in the latter half of the 1990s, like so many other topic-specific titles, Fangoria magazine found itself under immense pressure with the advent of the internet, but unlike so many of its contemporaries, Fangoria remained in publication until 2017. In 2018, the world of horror was revitalised as Fangora the Quarterly magazine reappeared, renumbered and redesigned for the next generation of horror fans, aiming to remain the one true horror magazine. So there you go, this is our cultural phenomenon of Fangoria. I hope you've enjoyed the video, I hope you've found it insightful and uh, a special thanks to everybody who subscribed to the channel. But as always, thank you for your time for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I got a live one here. <laughs>